Okay, in this problem, we're asked to find the max and min of f on our compact region E, where f of x, y is given as the function 3x squared minus x cubed minus, y, or minus 4y squared plus y to the fourth. And E is given as the closed disk of radius 2, so centered at the origin. And we have it given a little sketch there. Um, and so to find the max and min of our function, we want to calculate the gradient vector in the normal way and set it equal to 0 and see if there are any interior critical points. So that means we're going to look for the points where the gradient vector is equal to 0 and are also lying within um, our region E. And then finally, we'll also check the boundary to see if um, perhaps the max the global max or min exists on the boundary. So first we'll take the gradient vector of our function. Okay, so taking the partial derivative of f of x, y with respect to x, we get 6x minus 3x squared. And the partial derivative of f of x, y with respect to y is negative 8, 8y plus 4y cubed. And we want to set this equal to 0, so that means we'll set the components equal to 0. So we have 6x. minus 3x squared equal to 0, and negative 8y plus 4y cubed equals 0. So we'll factor out uh, 3x. We see that x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2. But we see that x equals 2 is on the boundary, so we can either um, include it now or uh, when we do our boundary analysis, it'll show up again. So we'll just look at when x is equal to 0. And we'll factor out a 4y. And we get 4y times negative, the quantity negative 1 plus y squared is equal to 0. So we get that either y is equal to 0 or y squared is equal to 1 by setting this quantity equal to 0. So that means that y can be either plus or minus 1. So if x equals, so we have actually three points now because we're not including x equals two. So I'm going to start up a little list here. So we have three points where our function has a critical point on the interior of our, of our closed region E, and that's at 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. And now we're going to go ahead and look at the boundary, which is just the circle. So that is when x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. And so we can go ahead and solve for y squared, since when we look at our function f of x, y, we have y squared and a y squared squared. So solving for y squared is probably the easiest way to go forward. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we have y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared. So 
So we're going to actually have two points for every x point that we have because we're going to have plus or minus the square root except for when x is equal to 2 where we'll just have the one point y equals 0. Okay, so now we can go ahead and use this equation, plug into our f of x, y. which will transfer it to just be f of x. So we have 3x squared minus x cubed minus 4 times the quantity 4 minus x squared plus the quantity 4 minus x squared squared is equal to our function f of x. We'll go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Okay, so we have 3x squared plus 4x squared minus 8x squared is negative x squared. Minus x cubed is the only term. Minus 16 plus 16 is 0 and plus x to the fourth. Okay, so we have our function f of x is equal to negative x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth. <coughs> and we're going to go ahead and find where there are critical points on this function. So So we have f of x as given, so we want to take f prime of x. And set that equal to 0. And find our critical points. So we have, we can factor out an x term. We have x times quadratic form, 4x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. And we know that x could equal 0, so we have x equals 0 is a possibility. And we have that the quadratic 4x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can go ahead and solve that using the quadratic formula. So we have 3 plus or minus the square root of the quantity 9 minus 4 times negative 2 times 4, which is 16 times 2, or 32. So plus 32, 41. So we have x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 41 all over 8. <coughs> or x is equal to 0. So we have three terms um, for our x, and we know that
y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared. So we can use, we can plug in each of our x terms and we'll get two different y terms. So we can go ahead, I have it estimated already. And when x is equal to 0, we see that y squared is equal to 4. So y is plus or minus 2. So we can go ahead and just start adding these to our list. So we have f of 0, 2, and f of 0, negative 2. <coughs> when x is negative 0 0.43, we have y is equal to plus or minus Okay, so, and then we also have x is equal to 1.18. And when we plug that into our y squared equation, we get that y is equal to plus or minus 1.618. So we have So we have two more points there. Now all that's left is to check. Now I forgot to mention, but it's inherent in our equation that x can only range from negative 2 to 2. Because if x is negative 2, then we have 4 minus 4, and y is equal to 0. So so if we have x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 0. And recall that we have to check these because these are on our boundary of our conditions. So we have to add these also to our, check, our list of points. And similarly, when x is equal to 2, we have that y is equal to 0. And it's also worth noting that all of the points that we found, all, all of the critical points that we found after substituting y squared on the boundary are within our acceptable x range. So we can, can include them within our list. So we have all of our points here. And I'm just going to write down our function again. Okay, so we have our function f of x, y. And now it's worth noting that our y terms are always going to be squared. So regardless of the sign, y being plus or minus, we're going to get the same result as long as our x value is the same. So that's why I included these on the same line and separated them just with a slash since they'll be equivalent. So we can go ahead and fill in our values just by plugging in our x and y terms into this equation. 
I went ahead and did this beforehand. So we have, okay, just one, just one quick change. Um, back here, it looks like when I factored out the four, I should have factored out, it should be negative two instead of one here. So that gives us our y squared is equal to two. So plus or minus the square root of two. Okay, so as a result of that change, we also have to add We also need to adjust those values there. And we get again, as I stated earlier, because the x value is the same and the y's just alternate signs, they're going to result in the same value. And then our f of 0, 2 and 0, negative 2, both going to be equal to 0. our f of negative 0 0.43 comma plus or minus 1.95 is going to be equal to negative 0 0.07 and then our f of 1.18 and plus or minus 1.618 is going to be equal to negative 1.097 our and finally our f of our final two our f of negative 2 0 and f of 2 0 we get 4 and 20. Okay, so now we just look by inspection at what are the max and min values of our function. We see that 20 is clearly the max, so and our f of 0 square root of 2 and f of 0 negative square root of 2 are going to be our global minimums, which is why it was important that I made that change. Okay, so finally we can just kind of Plot these points. So we have negative or er, f of two zero, which is going to be right on the boundary there, is our max. And then we have f of zero square root of two, which is going to be there. And there ish. So we have our minimum there and our minimum there. So we have two interior critical points were the minimums, and one of our boundary points was the max. So that's our global max and min on our compact region E.